Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky, and if you look at my inventory here, you know what? I am finally done with my kind of little goal thing. Um, my goal was to reach, uh, well, my goal was to reach 500 armadillo shards, and then make a video of that, and then sell all the loot. Um, I decided to stop at 300 because I'm really starting to get back into Slayer again, really enjoying Slayer a lot. Um, and also, I was just getting a bit tired of Glacors. You know, this is. I've now made seven staffs after I count these three that I'm about to make. So it's 7,000 Glacor kills, roughly. Um, so these three staffs took me 3,200 Glacor kills to get. So these are all the loots that I got from them. And the last time I made a Glacor's video is just from 1,000 staffs, or 1,000 kills. So I figured that 3,000 kills, or technically 3,200 kills, um, because that's how long it took me, would be a bit of a better sample size to show how much you'd get. So I have all the loot in my inventory. Um, I only got five boots, and you might think, holy crap, five boots, it's worth a lot. But in 3,000 kills, five boots is not very good. Um, the drop rate is about three boots in, per staff um, on average, so you'd expect more about nine boots for three staffs on average. But anyway, I'm just going to combine these shards of armadillo into... Um, Armadillo battle staves, and I'm going to sell everything in my inventory and see uh, what the total loot was. So that's kind of cool that I got three Armadillo battle staves all at once. Um, it did take 30 hours to get this, um, to get all these loots, so the total price check at the end will just divide it by 30, and that is how much money I made. Uh, first of all, I'm going to deposit my coin pouch into the bank just so it's a bit easier. Um, and I also added a little over three mil cash because that's how many coins I got. Um, usually on average you get about one mil in coins per battle staff so that all adds up a bit but anyway let's start selling the drops um, first. Actually first I'm going to price check all the, the little drops um, the non boots and staff drops just to see how much you make uh, just from killing, gl killing these clay swords even if you get really unlucky. Um, so they do add up to a lot. Obviously these water talismans are selling for a ton right now and that's not always the case uh, but I found you usually make between 10 and 15 mil per staff just in regular drops. So yeah, in 3,000 kills I got 36 mil just in regular drops, and the water talismans are going to sell for more than that, obviously. Uh, we add the armadillo battle staffs on there, and that's 83 mil, um, not even counting the boot drops. So even if you don't get lucky in 3,000 kills, you'd still make... Or even if you get horribly unlucky in 3,000 kills, you'd still make 83 mil, so that's not horrible. Uh, so let's just go ahead and sell everything. I imagine most of these ingredients should sell since the bonus XP weekend is coming up and people need supplies for it. Um, obviously, stuff like the blue dragon hide is worth a whole ton of money. Uh, the headless arrows should probably sell really well. Uh oh, the blue dragon hide is not selling. That's not good news. Um, anyway, I'm going to be back once I've sold all the regular stuff, the non big drops, and then sell those on camera. Okay, so these water talismans did sell insta when I put them in for mid. I have not looked at them yet, so I'm hoping they sell for a lot, because I know I put them in. When I price checked them, they would sell for like 9.6 mil. Oh, they sold for 10.8, so about a million over GE price. That that wasn't anything crazy. I, I had heard that they were selling for 20k each. I guess that is not the case. Um, so anyway, it's time to sell the Armadillo battle staffs. Uh, I know they are going down pretty hard just because everyone is doing glacors now so yeah I'm not surprised that they didn't sell um, so that's fine we'll just put them down a little bit more uh, we lost a bit more money than we could have if I'd sold these earlier but anyway 44 mil from the armadillo battle staves uh, let's add in the boots which are also crashing very hard right now because um, again as I said everyone is doing glacors 37 mil worth of steads that's pretty nice and glavens um, so, yeah, I do wish I had got more boots, but, I mean, you always do. Um, I guess they're not too far under GE price, 37 mil in the steads. Okay, so we add the regular coins onto this, and we get 141 mil. So that's a pretty decent amount of cash for about 30 hours. Um, so it's not quite 5 mil an hour, but, again, I did get pretty darn unlucky on boots. Um, so normally you would make more than this, but I'm just going to really quickly figure out how much per hour that is. Okay, so that only is uh, 4.7 mil per hour, um, so it's not great, it's not as good as I was hoping, because um, the previous loot video I did, if we went by uh, the luck that I got when I got 5 boots, it was about 9 mil an hour, um, and I did some calculations and I figured out if you got 3 boots per staff, which is the average, um, then Glacier's were 6.5 mil per hour. Um, and obviously, since I got 5 boots instead of 9, 
Uh, it was a bit less than that. But anyway, I did get a whole ton of, sh of charms, which I am going to be using on the bonus XP weekend. And I did get a lot of defense XP as well. I got about 15 million defense XP from all those kills, so that's pretty nice. Um, so I'm now nearly at 143 million defense XP. It's a big goal of mine to reach 200 mil. I've been working on it for like a couple years. So hopefully I'll be able to, um, you know, get farther towards that 200 mil defense. And I guess this 141 mil does add a still a fair amount of cash to my bank. So I'm now at um, 1.2 bill, uh, which is pretty nice, I must say. And I'll keep working on that, try to work towards 2 bill cash. And thanks for watching, guys, and farewell.